Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the 15th Tkinter um, quote-unquote mega series tutorial with Python 3. Uh, what we're going to be doing is adding a few more options to our Tkinter window along with the required backend functions for it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is scroll on down to our CFBTC class here, right, the app class. Coming down here and as usual this is where we will be writing our code. So. Um, with our, our graph, we're going to have basically three forms of indicators. You're going to have a top indicator, a middle indicator. So a top indicator will go above the graph. A middle indicator will go basically on the graph, so things like moving averages. A top indicator might be relative strength index. And then a bottom indicator, um, so that'll be an indicator that you put below the graph. So again, this could be a relative strength index or MACD or whatever. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and basically create these indicators. So first we'll do top indy like that for top indicator. And we're going to say that equals tk.menu, again, uh, menu bar, and we're going to say tear off equals one. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to say top indy, indy dot add underscore command and label. This one will be, the first label possible will be none. So this will be like, we don't want any indicator at all. Um, and then we'll say command equals the uh, lambda add top indicator. Whoops. And the parameter that we'll pass is simply none because they chose none. Now we'll go ahead and highlight this right here. And for now we'll have, um, we're basically going to have three options for pretty much all of these. Um, so this would be one, or well, that was two, and then three. So now uh, the user might decide they want RSI for a top indicator, or they might decide they want a MACD for the top indicator. So then, instead of none, uh, here will be just lowercase RSI, and this one will be a lowercase MACD. Now we need to add this indicator optionality to our menu, so we'll just say... Um, minibar dot add underscore cascade and then it'll be label equals um, top indicator um, and then the menu will be top indie now I'm gonna have each of these have their own um, section so top middle lower just because we have the space for it um, when we're just gonna go ahead and use it but you might also combine all of these because we'll have three kind of categories of indicators you could in theory put them all under one tab called indicator and then have a you know um, and then under indicator you could have top middle bottom and then you come over that and it has another arrow over um, I'm trying to see if any of these have an option like that I don't see yeah so so here you go file recent files and then here are a bunch of recent files right um, so it'd be like that like you know you could go indicators and then let's say top indicator and then this would be one of your top indicators okay Something like that, you could do that as well, but for now we'll just leave it the way it is. Um, so now we've got top indicator. Now we basically wanna do middle indicator and a bottom indicator. And so to do that, I'm just gonna just copy this, this whole thing from the definition of the top indicator as a menu item, all the way down to adding it as a cascade. Copy that, enter, enter, paste, enter, enter, paste. Let's add some space here. And now let's, uh, this one will be, we'll call this main indicator. So this, will, this is the indicator that's going on the main graph. Um, so main I, and then copy, paste, paste, paste. And then right here, we paste as well. Um, the main indicator, we're not going to pass RSI or MACD because those are on like a different scale than the main graph would be. So that would look very weird. Instead, the main types of indicators that you're going to see there are going to be SMA for simple moving average or EMA for exponential moving average. So this would be SMA, EMA. And instead of having it be top indicator, we're going to call this main middle um, indicator. And then menu, main I, we've already done that. Cool. So now we're going to do bottom indicator. So instead of top indie, it's um, bottom I. And we'll copy that, paste, 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 and paste. And actually, oh, we need to change that. <laughs> nice. Um, instead of top indicator, uh, this is, so uh, we're back into our main indicator kind of group here. Um, 
So instead of add top indicator for the lambda functionality there, it needs to be uh, middle. So replace top with middle, copy, paste, paste. And then here, this will be bottom. So add bottom indicator, copy, paste, paste. Okay. Um, so now instead of top indicator, this is bottom indicator. Good. Uh, and RSI MACD, uh, we will allow both of those to be there. So that's good as well. Okay. So now we've got the menu items. Now we need the three functions, right? Add top, add middle, add bottom. Now in theory, we could do basically, and we can make a function called add indicator and then pass two parameters. One is, you know, whether it's top, middle, bottom, or, um, and then also what the indicator is. Uh, we might end up condensing that later on down the road. Uh, for now, let's just, we'll make them separate, um, especially, yeah. Uh, they will for sure be able to be condensed and it'll be necessary later on. Um, but we'll do condensing the code and really uh, optimizing the code later on down the road. Uh, so now that we have this, we need to make um, basically all these functions. Okay. So we're going to go um, all the way to the top of our script. And basically where we have all these constants here, or at least these uh, default values. And we need to go ahead and have top indicator... Um, and that's going to equal for now none. And then let's go ahead and copy that, paste, paste. And then this will be um, bottom indicator. And then this one we're going to call middle indicator. So they all equal none as a default. Um, in general, that is how people do it. They just don't have any default value. And then we're finally going to have EMAs equal an empty list and then SMAs equal uh, an empty list. And this is because a lot of people like to do crossovers here and they might have a lot of EMAs or SMAs that they want to add. So we're pretty much going to let them do an infinite amount and then we'll, we'll allow them when they hit none, that will just clear everything. Um, and then they can kind of start over from there. Um, there's also a few other things that we could do there. We could, you know, maybe if as they add indicators, maybe add like a little button at the bottom for them to X out of that indicator, something like that. Um, we can definitely look into that in the future. But again, right now we're just trying to, um, you know, kind of put everything together, get it there, and then we can work on optimizing and then especially user um, user interaction basically with the with the program. So. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our functions that we need to make here. So we're gonna go ahead and do de uh, define add top indicator. And here you'll see um, why we basically, uh, these, these will be pretty much all the same. Except for the middle indicator is gonna be slightly different. Um, so we'll add, uh, add top indicator and in fact, I think what I'll do, I think what we'll do is we'll hold this off until the next video because define it, doing all three of these it was probably going to take a little bit. So I'm going to cut off the video here. And so anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to post them below. No complaining about cutting off the video. <laughs> uh, and I'll do my best to help you guys out or answer your uh, suggestions and all that. Um, otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And stay tuned to the next video.